Oh dear, oh dear. This, I'm afraid, is becoming far, far too common an occurrence. Record a whole video and forget, forget to plug the microphone in. Oh, it's happening so many times. I think I'm just, my mind, my mind is elsewhere. Anyway, never mind, never mind. Onwards, onwards. What did I say? During the mean whilst. During the mean whilst? No, no, no. That well, hello everybody. It is uh, Dexter and me, the intrepid butterfly hunters, here with a very short Saturday film about some of the, some of the beautiful little butterflies and moths we've captured in camera so far, uh, so far this year anyway. Now, I don't class myself uh, as a macro photographer. Uh, although I spent a deal of time from, you know, last summer onwards trying to hone my skills, I look at the work produced by some truly dedicated macro shooters and can only marvel really at what they, uh, what they manage to achieve. But what I try to do with my uh, macro and nature photography is go a little bit beyond just getting a record shot and trying to tell a story by including either some action on the part of the insect or, you know, or including their wider background to help uh, illustrate uh, the image further. Uh, like this picture of some, some hoverflies I took recently, uh, shall we say, enjoying life. Uh, or this dragonfly having a, a short rest. Uh, for example. And look at these images of a uh, red-legged shield bug. One is just a record of it really, while the other, the wider shot, uh, helps to place it, I think anyway, in its uh, overall environment. Now, you might not agree, but I think this extra care and storytelling does come through in my macro and nature images, certainly more than it did uh, in previous years anyway, when I would be happy with just, you know, uh, a high resolution close up a uh, record shot of, you know, of something or the other. Uh, equipment wise, it's just my camera and lens. Uh, I don't use any fancy lights or modifiers when getting my butterfly images. I use either my my uh, Nikon D700 with its excellent 105mm f2.8 G lens or my Fujifilm X-H2 with either the 100-400 telephoto or a Leowa 65mm manual focus uh, ultra macro, two times macro lens. Right, what I'll do now is play a little montage of some of my favourite images uh, from this summer so far uh, for you to for you to enjoy. you will note that I finally managed to capture my arch nemesis, a common blue, common, yeah, common blue butterfly. Now, I've been trying to get a decent uh, photo of one of these little chaps for over two years now. And thanks to Lisa and Bethan, who after 
spotting around about a dozen of them uh, while out on a, a walk recently alerted me to their presence and uh, I was able to finally finally get some uh, what I think anyway uh, are some really nice some really nice pictures of them again I tried to show the butterflies in the context of either their background or their behaviors and I'm really happy really happy with the final results and uh, another one I'm really chuffed to bits with is this image of uh, a small white uh, in flight uh, reminds um, bizarrely I managed to get this shot uh, on a beach at Mumbles and again have my daughter's eagle eyes to thank for spotting the little beauty as it hovered amongst some coastal uh, coastal thrift there um, other particular favorites of mine uh, from this summer are the little cameo shots of uh, various species sharing you know like the same flower head and uh, I managed to snap uh, a couple of these on some waste ground at the end of my road on a, a really particularly hot day in July when there seemed to be more flying insects than spaces and spaces for them to land, the poor little things. Anyway, that is it uh, for this week's uh, Saturday video. Uh, hopefully I can get uh, out and about uh, shortly and uh, film uh, one of my photography uh, vlogs again for you all soon. Uh, just not been up to it up to it lately but in the meantime make sure to tune in for tuesday's uh, unmissable video as it's the uh, 400th video i've uploaded to this platform since i started publishing videos here back in back in april 2017 and the oh so special subject i've picked to mark this career milestone well it's a video all about how to meticulously clean and service your tripod and you really really wouldn't want to miss that one would you <laughs> anyway uh, i know i know quite how the uh, awards plaudits and endless richards haven't started flowing in yet i just i just do not know right then uh, as usual <laughs> stay safe stay well look after yourselves your loved ones your little furry pets as well and uh, and be nice okay and we will see you uh, for the 400th time maybe, uh, on Tuesday. All the very best. Bye-bye. Did I manage to record it this time? Only time will tell. <laughs>